Hi, I'm Arthur William Panic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable BitLocker in Windows Server 2012 R2. First thing we have to do is we have to start Server Manager. So we're going to go ahead and click on the Server Manager icon. Once Server Manager has fully loaded, we're going to go ahead and click on Add Roles and Features. We're going to go ahead and say Next. This is a role-based or feature-based installation, so it's already set for that. We're going to say Next. Server A is the server I'm going to put this on, so that's perfect. So at that point, we're going to go ahead and say Next. At the Select Server Roles, we're going to go ahead and just say Next because BitLocker is a feature and not a role. So we're going to say Next. Then once the Select Features screen comes up, we're going to go ahead and we're going to choose the BitLocker Drive Encryption. Once I click on that, it's going to say I need to add some additional features. I'm going to add those features, and I'm going to go ahead and say Next. Then, at the Confirmation screen, I'm going to go ahead and check the box that says Restart. I do this after every install, because depending on if the feature or role needs a restart or not, I'm safe by checking this. So I'm going to check it, I'm going to say yes, and then I'm going to go ahead and click install. Now BitLocker is going to go ahead and install. While it's doing that, I'm going to stop the video and then I'll come back once it's complete. As you can see, BitLocker did require a restart, so the system rebooted and it's currently starting up. As soon as this is complete, I'll go ahead and start the video back up. As you can see, the installation shows that BitLocker has been installed completely. So I'm going to go ahead and click Close. I'm going to close Server Manager. In this video, I showed you how to install BitLocker onto a Windows Server 2012 R2 system.